welcome back to Mind Body Relationship, where we talk about the mind, the body, and the relationship. Hi there, my name is Emerald Hill, and this is Dr. Lori Ponsford Hill. Hello, Emerald. How are you doing today? I'm doing really good. How are you today? I'm doing really good. So, what do you think's up for the next little while for you? What's up for the next little while? Yeah. Uh, well, this upcoming Saturday is my driving test. Ooh. My G2. <laughs> Nervous? Yes. Ooh, yeah. wow. It's so hard to know what it is that uh, is coming down the pike, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's where those nerves come from. You don't know what it is that's going to be happening. Right. Yeah. You know, sometimes people actually really believe in all sorts of different things, right? Oh, Having sure. a belief system is really, really important, you know, because belief is based in two components. Okay. One is to do with faith and the power of positive thinking. Right. Okay. And the other is to do with fear. Right. Right? The fear of the unknown. The fear is actually really because... Um, you know, you just you just don't know what it is that is going on, right? You don't you don't know the bigger picture. Okay. If you knew it, you'd be able to well, you'd be able to know exactly what to do and where to be, right? Yeah. And how to do it. Right. But the truth is we have no idea. Nope. Right? All we know is that you have the date. Yeah. Right? Yes. That's it. That's all you know. Yep. And, and I can prepare as much as I can and be perfect, but I don't know what the what the driving test dude is like. I don't know what the roads will be like. There's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that's out of my control. So totally true, right? So uh, some people actually really believe in psychic energy. Wow. I know. Interesting. And psychic energy is kind of like, you know, have you ever been like you're driving down the road and you look at someone and they're walking along the sidewalk and then all of a sudden they turn, they stare right at you? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, some people believe in that. Some people don't believe in that. But the truth of the matter is, is that we do have a psychic presence about us. For sure. Uh-huh. And that's, you know, that's really, really old stuff. Oh, yeah. Right? That's why you can tell, like, if somebody's standing behind you and, then you know, yeah, you get this creep up your spine. Yeah, you can feel it, mm -hmm. right? You can feel that energy. Um, so, and that's, that's why people go to psychics. Right. Right? They want to know the future. They want to know more about themselves. So right. they go and see a psychic in order to be able to learn something about themselves. Right. Mm-hmm. So part of that is to do with tarot cards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's tarot cards, there's Ouija boards, right. um, you know, uh, there's glass balls, gazing balls. I mean, there's all sorts of things that people use. But, I mean, tarot cards are kind of fun, really, when you think about it, right? Yeah. And it kind of like, you know, kind of sort of like calms the system when it is that you feel like you have some added sort of, you know, psychic, subconscious information about yourself that you wouldn't necessarily normally have. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So today... Um, I actually brought with me uh, these cards, which are called uh, oracle cards. Oh, interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. And this is to do with mermaids and dolphins. Oh, fun. <laughs> so totally true. It's like a girly pack, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And so there's different ways in which it is that uh, you can use your, your tarot cards. So just, you know, have a look through the deck and just, you know, uh, kind of shuffle them around, get comfortable with them. I mean, the whole idea is uh, to really connect with the cards, right? And that provides that added sort of like, you know, psychic component to it. And then once it is that you feel like you have them shuffled enough, Okay. Then just, you know, uh, pull uh, a group of them and then just hold the card up for everybody to see. <laughs> Set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. So in the book here, there's actually really a description of each of what it is that the cards mean. But the truth is, is that it's what your interpretation of the card means based upon whatever that question is you're bringing Right. Uh, forward that you have a concern about. So this one says, this card indicates that you've been trying to rationalize that some situation is okay, 
when it isn't. Mm. You're, you've settled for less than you desire and for much less than you deserve. You don't need to compromise. Heaven will help you heal or will replace troubling situations in your life. All you need to do is ask for heaven's help and then adhere to the guidance that results. Take time today to visualize and dream about your true heart's desires. Don't worry about being disappointed. You deserve a great life and you have the power and the heavenly help to accomplish it. Fear and worry slow down your manifestation, so keep releasing all cares and doubts to heaven. You may feel intimidated by moving up to a higher plateau in your journey. However, you have heaven's reassurance that you're ready. Reach for the stars. Know that you're qualified and deserving of these gifts and open your arms to receive them. Nice. Interesting. Yeah. All right, so put those cards back and then grab another handful of cards. Okay. And pull the next one up. And what's this one? Alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. Oh, I like the sound of that. I know, same. <laughs> that sounds nice. I want it. <laughs> Uh, and this one says you're on a roll at this time with the energy of heightened success surrounding you and your endeavors. You instantly manifest your thoughts and ideas now, so choose them carefully. Just as you're capable of manifesting masterpieces right now, you're also able to manifest problems. But the good news is that you can also undo any manifestation that you're unhappy about. An alchemist is someone who turns base metal into precious gold or silver. You have the ability to take ordinary projects and make them come alive with meaning, blessings, and abundance for everyone involved. Your gratitude for your God-given manifestation power and also the joy you feel in response to the beautiful creations that stem from it are keys to amplifying your alchemy abilities. Affirm frequently. Thank you for helping me focus my thoughts completely on joy and the desire to be connected to divine love. I am so grateful that all of my needs are so carefully addressed instantly. Cool. Wow. All right. One more time. Okay. All right. Here we go. What is this one? Break free. Ooh. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. Interesting. All right, so for break free, we have sometimes we get into ruts and routines because they feel safe and comfortable. By drawing this card, you're asked to swim outside your comfort zone. It's time to take risks and explore new ways of thinking, making, a living, or being in relationships. When you make the commitment to explore and experiment, the world responds by giving you wonderful new experiences. Heaven isn't necessarily asking you to settle into these new avenues, but to instead test the water and venture out. Sometimes we'll experiment and learn new things, and then when we return to our comfortable old routines, we're changed for the better. This is definitely a time for you to reach out and enjoy new options. Try something new today. Interesting. Yeah. Right. So now what we have created is we've created a storyboard of sorts. Right. Right? So when you take a look at those uh, three cards in regards to your question, really, yeah. which is to do with your upcoming driving test. Driving test my um, answer. My question was, am I going to pass my driver's test? <laughs> And so what I think it's saying to me uh, when it says set your sights higher means mm. set your sights higher and passing your driver's test. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's a good sign. Oh, good, yeah. good. Uh, the second was alchemy. You have minus touch right now. Every project you begin turns to gold. So I think that means that, you know, like as long as I keep working at it, uh, like it's going to turn out well. Because I've chosen to work at it. Oh, there you go. And then break free, uh, which means try something new, which I think means today you're going to drive to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. It's so funny. Yeah, I, I think that's really great, right? Because, um, yeah, it's not about passing the driver's test, right? It, it is about actually really being a, a good a, driver, a, a good driver yeah. right? A safe driver. So... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so when you look at those cards, when you've just had this experience, how does that make you feel? <sighs> Nervous. <laughs> it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like, um, it, like there's more in my control. As long as I practice and keep my mind on the main goal, which is safe driving, ah. then I should be okay. 
Interesting. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. All right. So how about if we take those cards and we put uh, those cards back into uh, the deck? Uh, when your intuition guides you to stop shuffling, pull as many cards off the top as you feel guided to take. Lay them in a line with the first card you pulled going to the left and the last card you pulled going to the right. The card to the left signifies your immediate past. The second card deals with your present and each card to the right describes your future in three month increments. And so the goal is to notice the common thread or theme running through the cards as they tell you a story. Now, if there's a card that jumps out the deck while well, it is that you're shuffling, this card contains a very important message that you may not have noticed. Ooh, if the card's energy hadn't delivered it to you in the extraordinary way. Ah, so what was that card? This one? Yes, it just jumped out yeah. when I was talking. Uh, dream big. Wow. <laughs> All right, so dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. Interesting, eh? Yeah. It says, in the past, you may have seen yourself as insignificant. This card asks you to release any thoughts or feelings of inferiority. Truly believe that you are utterly qualified for any endeavor you can dream about. Write down a list of your fears about moving forward and then drown those fears by putting the paper into a bucket or large bowl of water. Then take a cleansing shower, bath, or swim. The water seals your new way of seeing yourself as you are in truth and equal to all other children of God. Is that not intriguing? Yeah. 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 Wow. All right. Well, that one wanted to speak to you because it jumped right out. It did. So your recent past is the one furthest to the left. So your the dream, immediate past. The dream big. Interesting. Okay. And so now, right now, it's time to move on. So oh. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. All right. And this says, by drawing this card, you're alerted to the fact that you need to make room for the new by letting go of the old. First, let go emotionally and intellectually. In other words, quit or say goodbye in your mind and heart. Once you do this, the physical letting go will happen naturally in a peaceful and harmonious way. Ask heaven to help you make this transition and don't plan, scheme, or worry about how your letting go will occur. Put all of your energy into prayer and faith and leave the rest up to infinite spirit. You'll get definite guidance whenever it's the right moment to take action. Until then, stay lovingly detached from your old situation. Wow. Wow. All right, and your future. Future is self-forgiveness. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. Self-forgiveness. You've been very hard on yourself lately, using harsh words towards yourself verbally or mentally. While it's healthy to hold yourself up to high standards, this card says that you've bordered on self-abuse. Everyone makes mistakes and it's normal to feel regret occasionally. What's important though is how you handle these mistakes. As you focus on your positive attributes, your self-esteem will increase and your stress level will be diminished. Remember that guilt is the opposite of love. Your guilt doesn't help anyone or anything, but your divine love helps everyone everywhere. Affirm, I ask that all effects of my mistakes will be undone in all directions of time and I now release all guilt completely. I love my true self from top to bottom. All right. So, what are your thoughts as it is that you, you know, have now the storyboard? Well, my question was, will I be a good driver? Mm -hmm. And I think the dream big thing is probably like, oh, you know, that's a big dream to be a good driver. <laughs> and have a driver's license and be a good driver. Uh -huh. Especially nowadays. Nobody waits for you to pull out anymore. <laughs> uh, time to move on, I think, is uh, time to move on from being so intense with right. uh, being a good driver. I find I get very stressed out when I make even like, not mistakes, but things that just require more skill development. So true, yes. And I get very stressed out when like I'm a little to the left and you know what I mean? Yeah, oh yeah. Especially oh, yeah. when like reversing out of long 
driveways. <laughs> uh, self forgiveness. I think forgiving those little things is really important to be able to say like, yeah, it wasn't perfect, but it's time to move on so that we can work on it more. And to work on it more, you have to be in a good mindset because there's no point in being in a vehicle when you're like emotionally compromised. So true, so true, right? Well, and, and now that you've had the experience of actually using tarot cards, right? Uh, what are your thoughts about it? Well, I think it's a good, uh, a good reminder, a good way to have different ways of looking at your situation. Being able to say, well, what was my previous experience with this? What's my current feelings towards it? What do I want to feel towards it? I think that's a really great way to look at any situation, especially when you're stuck in it. Mm. When there's a lot of worry and there's a lot of writing on it. Like, I really want to pass my driver's test. <laughs> but it's important to take a step back and say, like, I can always take it again. That's so true, right? Yeah. Well, I, I think, you know, it, number one, it's very, very important to be able to believe in yourself. Yeah. Right? It's it's important to have a belief system. I mean, the, the reality is, is that um, no matter what it is that you do, it, it's really important to believe in it. And if you believe in it, then it will work for you. Right. Right? If you don't believe in it, then, then the truth is, is that, well, you'll have a tendency to brush it off. Right. Right? And, and not use it. So, and I also think in regards to self-esteem, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's important to, well, have a really good self-image, right? And uh, to, just like you're doing, work on yourself, right, right? By, by slowly uh, uh, growing and taking on new things, right, and that sort of thing, right? Right. And um, well, this is actually really a, a way to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, whether you believe in psychic energy, whether you believe in, well, you know, psychics or tarot cards or whatever it is that that might be, um, you know, there, there is a, a sort of like, you know, general kind of pop psychology nest to this, which is just like, it is very general. And so it does apply to everyone. Right. And so, you know, it just depends on how it is that you're going to view it right. and uh, from what, what you're going to take out of it. Right. Right. And uh, I also think that, you know, these things have a tendency to actually really, you know, support you. Right. In, in different ways. And so, you know, therapy is, is definitely one way to go. But having something that you can rely upon and depend upon to take you sort of outside of yourself, right? Um, yeah, is is really good. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Lori, for doing this tarot card game with me. Yeah. I feel a bit more confident towards my driving tests on Saturday. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and then we're gonna have to see. If the tarot cards come true. Mm. <laughs> I think I'll put in a lot more work just to <laughs> That's good. do myself a favor. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you've had an experience with tarot cards, please comment down below. We would love to read about it. And give this video a like, subscribe, stay subscribed, and we'll see you later. All right. And bye for now. Bye.